everyone, Kyle Erickson here. I've always had a problem with my Apple Watch. I'd like to wear it on this arm. Unfortunately, I have to wear it on this one. And I'm sure there's folks out there who have the same problem. If you have tattoos around your wrist, you may have had issues with things like wrist detection or unlocking not working properly, or you're constantly being asked to unlock your watch. This is what happens to me when I have my watch on this arm. And it gets really annoying to have to type in a passcode every time that I want to do something on here. Not only that, but you can pretty much forget about doing any kind of fitness tracking because as soon as this locks up, everything pauses as far as workouts go. And it's just a huge pain and kind of makes this unusable to a certain extent. For some people, it also messes up the heart rate functionality outside of wrist detection. And this all comes back to the sensors responsible for making all of this work. Now, you could browse around the web or on YouTube a little and find some hacks or solutions that seem to solve some of these problems, but there are mixed results. And while it can make things a lot more functional, there still can be some issues present. Today, I wanna go over how these sensors in the Apple Watch operate, why some of the issues exist in the first place, and touch on how some of the potential fixes work, and why even though they appear to solve the problem for some, still might not work properly. So with that said, let's dive in. So let's kick things off by looking at the Apple Watch sensors. While there are a bunch of different sensors within each watch, there's two primary types we're gonna look at here. Both sit on the backside of the watch against a skin, the first being the LED sensors that we can visibly see working that are green and red, and the other type are infrared sensors that we don't visually see working. I'm sure if you own the Apple Watch or any fitness band, you'll have seen these green LEDs illuminated when you're doing a workout or an activity, and sometimes if you have the right Apple Watch, you'll see red LEDs illuminated when you're doing things like measuring blood oxygen. Those are optical sensors, and they measure your heart rate by a process called photoplethysmography. I know that's really hard to pronounce, but basically how this works is it shines the green light against your wrist, your body will absorb some of that light and it reflects the rest back. So when your heart beats faster, there is more blood flow and the more blood flow that you have, the more light that gets absorbed by your skin. So the reflected light is less intense. The sensor detects the intensity of the light being reflected and then gets a reading from it. That green light flashes hundreds of times per second. So all through the ups and downs with your blood flow and the light intensity, it's able to determine what your heart rate is. On your Apple Watch, most of the time, you'll only see this particular functionality when you're doing an activity, presumably to save battery, and that's where the infrared sensor comes in. This sensor takes less energy and it sends your heart rate to the Health app every 10 minutes, and it's also used for wrist detection. It basically works in the same way that the green LED sensor does, emitting radiation and collecting a response based on the amount of absorption your skin has. And here is where we run into the problem with tattoos. With tattoos, the ink sits in the second layer of our skin called the dermis, and this really messes with how these sensors work. The LED or IR sensors are counting on our skin to reflect the signal. The problem being is that the ink is gonna have more absorption than just our bare skin, which in turn leads to all these issues with the watch constantly locking. Because the ink is absorbing the signal, the watch isn't getting the reflected response back that it's looking for, and it thinks that it's not on your wrist, which if you have tattoos makes this almost unusable with wrist detection. There is however a little hack where people have been taking an epoxy sticker, tape, or in some cases hot glue or a band-aid and putting it over the sensors on the back of the watch and it magically works. What's likely happening there and how this is able to work is that sticker is reflecting the signal. So the watch thinks it's your skin. And with some of these clear applications like epoxy stickers or clear tape put over the sensor, you still get those LED lights shining through that allow some of the other functionality to work that sits outside of wrist detection and in some cases has been reported to actually have improved that other functionality as well. Uh, presumably by doing the same thing, altering how those sensors interpret the light. But there's still a bit of an issue. Just because those readings are coming through, it doesn't mean that they're accurate. That layer of ink is still affecting that signal, whether it be the IR sensor or the green LED. And just in general, those green LED sensors are not super accurate to begin with. Generally, our skin doesn't do a great job reflecting green light. It absorbs quite a bit of it, so it's really hard for these sensors to penetrate deep into our skin. 
And because our wrist contains so many tendons and not much muscle, it's just generally not the greatest place to try and grab your heart rate. Also, different colors of ink will absorb light differently, so you can see different results with smartwatches and fitness trackers based on that as well. You'll see some people saying that these fixes work great and other people saying that they don't work at all. It's just all over the board. If you've ever had laser tattoo removal, which I unfortunately have had to do, you'll notice that they often change different laser wavelengths dependent on the color of ink that's being targeted. That whole process actually works by taking advantage of that absorption. The laser goes through your skin and hits the ink and it actually breaks it up into the lower and upper layers of your skin or it's either gonna get washed away in your bloodstream or flake away on the top layer. So if you're ever out there and you've got tattoos around your wrist and you're considering buying the Apple Watch, just know that some of these aren't catch-all solutions and they can work differently for everyone. If you already have an Apple Watch, maybe this is a solution for you, but otherwise I'd turn to other solutions like an aura ring, a chest strap, or an armband. And just a side note, this is a problem that exists with all fitness trackers in general. It's not just with the Apple Watch, so just something to be aware of. Like I said earlier, I'm lucky enough that I have an arm with bare skin, but I know that's not always the case, and I just hope that sometime in the near future they find a way around this entirely. I'd love to know if you've come across this problem and what your solution has been to remedy it, so please drop a comment down below and let me know what you've tried and how it's worked. That's it for me today. I just want to take some time and briefly explain how all of this works. I hope you found this useful or interesting, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more tech related content, or if you want to go streaking past the gymnasium, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next upload.